Hello and welcome. So today we will start working on a circuit called Winbridge. Basically it's an oscillator and we will try to make a Winbridge oscillator of uh, some desired frequency let's say of 1 kilohertz and I will show you exactly how it can be done. Let's start with our primary things first. This is the breadboard as you can see. Okay, and these are the components. What so we need an op amp. Okay, you can see it's a 741. And we need two ordinary diode and we need some 215k resistor, one 10k resistor, one 32.2k resistor and 3.007 microfarad of capacitor. This is this things all we need and okay and a, a 10 ohm pot you can also take a 2.2 kilo preset of pot but okay we will do it with the ordinary 10k pot it will work so let's start with these things and also we need some this wires which we have to connect with the batteries the, to power the op amp okay so first start with doing a circuit this wind bridge basically is a bridge whose one arm is made up of R and C series and one arm is RC parallel. Okay, let's make first thing first. So that's how I think it should look like this is R and C in series and then what we do we make an R okay let's make it like this so it will be easy then put R here and R here and a C here and here so I think this you can understand these are the series C and R then it's an R and C these are parallel okay I think you can see it fine okay now we have to make the third arm which the upper arm of this third the third arm the upper side is made up of this 32.2k as you can this is a 32.2k ohm resistor then we take the fourth arm where <coughs> we put a 10k ohm pot like this this is a 10k ohm and the cap where we put the next half with a 10 ohm pot 10k ohm pot so these are the things this is a bridge with this pot you can I think you can see it very clearly 
so this is the first round with R and C in series this is the second round R and C in parallel this is the third round which is 32.2 kilo ohm and this fourth arm this is a 10k ohm resistor and a 10k ohm pot okay now take this thing the op amp okay and we set the op amp here so that is the thing now we can take some wires to connect bits of areas just like this from let's say this junction of first and second row this goes to three this goes to three of op amp okay <clears throat> and here are the two diodes we will use them as a stabilizer of this one bridge so what we do we put a p side at up of one and inside of one and both we connect on same line from where we can actually do a connection to this second sorry the third and fourth arm okay via a resistor of different value whatever we can choose we will see and the second thing we will do that from the second third and fourth arm junction it goes straight to no pin 2 this is the connection you can see this is the connection this goes to straight 2 from the junction of 3 and 4 and from the junction of 1 and 2 it goes to pin number 3 ok let's move on to power it I hope you can see it clearly this is a plus 12 volt we put a red to show and here what we do we put it on pin number 7 then make a minus 12 volt and put it on pin number 4 then we have to make a ground connection with the zero of the battery and put it on a common point okay so this is the circuit i think you can pretty understand what is now going on this is the thing we have to make now one thing we have to do is we have to connect from pin number 6 to the common of the upper line and then put a capacitor from 6 and where we can measure the output from the opposite leg of the capacitor and it's <coughs> more or less complete this is a simple circuit and one can make it very easy and now we will see the wave pattern it is forming okay so this is a CR 
and we can make a connection to see the wave pattern on the seal and to do that we connect one point with the pin 6 the capacitor and at a crop and immediately you can see some wave pattern okay so you can see whenever we connect it it forms a wave pattern but it's clipped so we have to adjust the port of the fourth arm to get a proper sine wave and we can actually get a sine wave just like this and you can actually see it's very unstable okay it shows 1.1 k so you can see that 1.096 kilohertz it's a pretty good oscillator but it is getting clipped so because we have not given any stabilization here yet so we can do it by connecting these two duo diodes with the junction of R3 and R4 by via a resistor like 10 kilo ohm which is a very useful thing to do 10k resistor we can actually connect these two points as we just connect the two diodes with the 10k resistor at the junction of 3 and 4 term it shows a pretty decent result is showing very nice result and it is giving us like 1.5k 15k something like that 152 kilohertz so it's pretty decent result so you can make a wine ridge oscillator uh, like this it's a very pretty simple Mm, circuit and it works very well and uh, what you can do for your experiment you can actually test the stability as um, by changing this uh, um, resistance which I put uh, at last uh, the connection of 3 and 4th uh, arm and the do diode connection point and you can get a value over uh, various you can choose various registers and uh, you can actually see the stabilization um, how much it is changing and uh, after that you can what you can do is uh, by actually giving um, a signal from outside uh, keeping only the first and second arm you can actually compare it with uh, a standard uh, oscillator that's a functional generator and the output we um, are taking from the junction point uh, with respect to ground and uh, when you put it in XY mode of CRO, this will give you a 
lissajous figure obviously and with different phases uh, this will give you a uh, different shape of the ellipse and uh, at say shift 0 it will be a straight line and uh, you can measuring the phi you can actually plot uh, the lid lag uh, circuit and by this uh, you can actually do the whole lot of experiment with the white bridge hope you uh, it will help you and thanks for watching.